The new show CSI Cyber airs tonight on Local 12. Oscar winner Patricia Arquette plays an FBI cyber psychologist. Her division solves crimes that involve the web or smartphones. You may not know, but Hamilton County has its own computer crime unit. Local 12's Deborah Dixon takes us inside. This is the set of CSI Cyber in the TV show Agents Search for Criminals in the Bowels of the Web. This is the real deal. Detectives do the same thing here at Regional Electronics Computer Investigations, known as RECI. Like the TV show, detectives here follow the digital footprints of hackers, pedophiles, and scammers. Unlike the show, it can take 40 hours to process one hard drive. A computer sex investigation is already underway for Detective Donald Minnick. Today I just um, located four victims of uh, sexual assault or some type of child pornography. Um, let's see what's about 10 o'clock. Okay, I've been here two hours. The average pedophile is a white, college-educated, married man with children. This guy? Average guy. No criminal record of, uh, to speak of. Just taking advantage of a situation. Taking advantage of technology. Yes. Stuart Kidwell of Blanchester used technology to search for someone to have sex with his four-year-old daughter while he watched. Minnick posed as that person, and Kidwell texted him nude photos of the little girl. When the SWAT team arrested him, she was carried out of the house, smiling. I want to read it as she realized someone was helping her, and even though this could have been a scary situation that maybe somewhere deep down she realized that maybe things aren't going to be happening to me she anymore. Was it was technology that helped put Kidwell away for 30 years. His computer and cell phone were confiscated and processed here. To anyone who thinks they can kill the contents of their cell phone when police confiscate it, there is the Faraday box. It stops radio signals from reaching the cell phone and altering the data inside. Faraday bags play a role in CSI Cyber. Faraday bags block the kidnappers from communicating through their devices. The second we zip them up, it's like locking them in a lead ball. The director of this unit, who's been working computer crime since 1994, says that's not always a good thing. Parents are buying young teen and preteen kids phones with a camera and the ability to send pictures and the ability to send text messages and are expecting their kids not to do something stupid with that phone. Sergeant Austin Moore's 12-year-old daughter does not have a cell phone. He knows too much. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. If you are suspicious of activity involving Facebook, cell phones, or video games, the best way to get the information to this unit is to call your local police department or call Crime Stoppers at 352-3040.